with a more native approach, which I know you to have, um, <clears throat> was that difficult in terms of dealing with people in you know businesses or any, anything you came across on your path? Well, it's may, maybe a way of doing things. Um, Uh, it's easy to say the, the native approach is uh, um, maybe more subdued way of, of negotiating and you know, being more receptive, more open. That could be considered along those lines when I, when I think of my own people when I was sort of developing, certainly, the more receptive people. Right? And it wasn't like they were weak. No, the strength is there. It's just a matter of how you how you how you share it with other people. Uh, if you're talking about my musical approach, yeah, it's always been more native, and um, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's not about thinking. It's not about uh, particularly studying in a more formal way. And, no, it's more more natural. So if native means natural, then. Yeah, that's that's a good way to fly and, and take care of business and uh, express your music and, and do your work in the world. Okay. Simpler. Not everybody has that in their nature in the same way, uh, but it's something you can cultivate. Like you know, you can cultivate a very serious business attitudes and you know, uh, be forceful, uh, be aggressive, or you, you can be subtle. You can be subtle. And still have power, you know, to bring forward to the people. <clears throat> uh, when it comes to playing, you want to play from what your true is, whether that's native or what is the word intellectual or academic. Right? You want to come from what is natural for you. So if the blues is more natural, then that's what it is. It's good. Play, play what you feel you have some strengths over it. Uh, you have some command over that uh, that is true to your, your nature and what your need is to express. Don't, don't, don't go beyond your, your, your need and your capability because that's, that's going to show up right away. Um, I think knowing what your piece is is important. Not to be bound to it, but to work with your piece. Uh, that should help you as you move forward select people who are more attuned to the piece that you need for what it is you want to do. Okay. Uh, or the intensity when you get to that, that place. Uh, mm -hmm. And so the spiritual then shows up as a way of listening. So the spiritual is about what you can hear. See, see it's, it's hearing, already hearing. It's, that's musical, but hearing is more than just musical. Right? We want to hear beyond music. We want to hear and feel like the animals do. They hear, they sense. So we need to be into sensing uh, what is happening, what's going on, and what what we need to know by sense, and we're also talking about common sense, than just, uh, let's say, um, ego sense. Mm -hmm. Ego sense. It's not about the ego, uh, uh, it's about the heart. So you want, you want to be able to sink in the groove of what the heart might need, more so than what yourself would like to be in a certain way. Uh, hopes to be, in a, in a way, if there was such a thing, hoping to be something. Mm -hmm. So when somebody's rooted in the heart, say, um, feeling uh, and hearing, uh, then that's a, good, that's a good place to be and work from. Say, simplicity, well done is more powerful than a bunch of noise uh, thrown together for amusement or for impression. Simplicity, better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Strength, yeah. Uh, simplicity, 
has strengths. The strengths of what is simple and powerful is a good way to go.